I'd like to begin with Ahmed uh, from the KSA. He's in a situation needs really uh, some assistance. Working in a convenience store. The word convenience store shocked me because I thought he's calling from the KSA. Uh, because in what convenience store is? And they sell what? Unless if he says it's a dry store. So anyway, he said in this convenience store, in the KSA, uh, they sell cigarettes. 40% of the earning or the profit is from selling cigarettes. So a great portion of his salary is from selling cigarettes. In order to answer whether it's permissible or not, your earning is lawful or not, we need to know the origin. The item that you're selling, is it lawful or unlawful? Lawful to use or not lawful to use? Because in the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, إن الله إذا حرم شيئا حرم ثمنه. If there is anything that Allah prohibits, then its price is also prohibited. That's why we're not allowed to sell or buy or invest in alcohol or in any intoxicants or in pigs and pork and these products because it's haram. So you're not even allowed to sell it to non-Muslims. So we need to figure out whether it's okay to smoke or not. For any ordinary person, when I stop one of those hundreds of thousands whom we stop and I ask them, why do you smoke? The typical answer, well, it's a disease. Pray for me. So there is not a single person who believes that he's doing something good by smoking. Or he's doing an act of obedience or he is trying to please Allah by smoking. Everybody, even those who are heavy smokers, know that they are doing an awful thing. Every pack of cigarettes by law has an awful scary image of a skull and the word death, or it says smoking leads to death. 30% uh, of lung cancer is due to smoking, then the second hand smoking, and all of that. Literally, there is nothing good about smoking. On the Day of Judgment, Deeds will be divided into two uh, categories because the mizan, the scale, will have two parts to weigh the good versus the bad. On the Day of Judgment, let's ask ourselves, smoking, where would it fit? Would it be put in the part of the scale of the good deeds? Obviously not. When the Prophet said, لا تزول قدم عبد يوم القيامة حتى يسأل عن أرباح No one's feet would be removed or dismissed. No one would be dismissed on the day of judgment before having to answer for four questions. One of them is about his wealth, how he earned it and how he spent it. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks you about 30 riyals, 30 dollars, 30 pounds, 30 whatever that you spend monthly, you earn it from halal, I assume, and you spend it on smoking. Would that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Obviously not. So this is if we're going very easy going, like with those who say it's just mere dislike. So that means Allah dislikes it. The Quran says, La tulqu bi aydikum ila tahluka. You're not allowed to hurt nor harm yourselves. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La darara wa la darar. Harm should neither be inflicted nor reciprocated. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited whatever is harmful, يُحِلُّ لَهُمُ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَيُحَرِّمُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْخَبَائِثِ So every evil and everything that is harmful, even if its name was not mentioned or listed in the Quran or in the Sunnah, something that we figure out, they did not have heroin or morphine or these substances at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa did not have grass, they did not have marijuana, did they? They did not. So is it halal? Or haram. Obviously it is haram by analogy to alcohol and in any uh, uh, intoxicants. So smoking is haram. Smoking is very harmful. So selling something that is haram is haram. My advice to you, put your trust in Allah and look for another job. You are selling death to people and you're earning 40% of your earning from haram. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your repentance. Perhaps you can do a quick umrah and drink from Zamzam water and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you a better job, a halal job where you can feed your children from halal 
and may Allah forgive us our sins.